Hello and welcome to Phoenix English. Today is going to be a really useful lesson. It's going to be all about the verb to get. So, what does get mean? Don't tell me that it means to obtain, because that is only one of the many, many uses for get. So, today's video is all about the verb to get and the many uses that it has. So, make sure you watch right till the end. If you look in an English dictionary, you will probably find that there are around 50 uses, 50 individual uses for the verb to get. Now, I've managed to group some of these uses into seven categories, and today we are going to talk about six of them. I'm going to talk to you about how the verb to get can be used to replace, to arrive, to receive or to obtain, to become, to bring, to buy, and to find, or it can also be added to, to have, or to have to. I will then discuss some of the many phrases and expressions that can be used with to get. Now, I do have phrasal verbs written here, but I'm not going to talk about those today. If you don't know what a phrasal verb is, I do have a video about how phrasal verbs are made and how to use them. Now, there are a lot of phrasal verbs that use the verb to get, but there are too many to talk about today. So I promise you that I will make another video all about phrasal verbs using get. So the first one, to travel or to arrive, very similar. How did you get to London? I got here by train. Now, this could mean, how did you travel to London? I traveled here by train. What time did you get here? I got here at 10.30. Well, in this case, get means arrive. What time did you arrive here? I arrived here at 10.30. So now we move on to to receive or to obtain. Here are five examples of the situation when get can replace to receive or to obtain. I got a letter in the post. I received a letter in the post. I hope I get a promotion. I hope I receive a promotion. I think you got the idea now. So, he's not going to get an apology. I get presents at Christmas. And can I get a kiss? So now, on to to become. And this means to show a change. So we can use the verb to get with adjectives comparatives and past participles. Here you have some examples. And three examples of this in use are In summer, it gets hot. In summer, it becomes hot. I hope I get better at English. I hope I become better at English. And I need to leave. I'm getting bored. I need to leave. I'm becoming bored. Okay, we are over halfway through now. So number four, to bring, to buy, to find. Now these ones depend a little bit on a context. So for example, can I get you a drink? This could mean to buy. If for example, I'm in a bar with my friend. If I say, can I get you a drink? It probably means can I buy you a drink? But if I have my friend over my house, it would mean, can I bring you a drink? Because I'm going to get it and bring it from the kitchen. I need to get some new clothes. Well, this is going to mean I need to buy some new clothes. Were you able to get the information? Were you able to find the information? So now on to number five, when get is added to, to have or 
to have to, but without the meaning changing. So in some situations, there are two ways of saying exactly the same thing. Let's look at to have first. I got examples of affirmative, negative, and interrogative. I have so much money. I wish that was true. I've got so much money. So we contract, I have, I've got. We cannot use the contraction without got in this case. I've so much money doesn't exist in English. So I have so much money or I've got so much money. On to the negative. I don't have any friends. I've not got any friends. The not goes before the got. And again, contraction is used. Or we can say, I haven't got. Contracting have and not. Interrogative. Do you have enough time? Have you got enough time? Note that no contraction is used in interrogative. And now the examples for to have to. The affirmative. I have to tell her. With get, I've got to tell her. Same meaning. The negative, she doesn't have to come. With get, she hasn't got to come. The interrogative, do you have to leave? With get, have you got to leave? And that's it. Easy peasy. So now on to the final one. Last but not least, expressions with get. Now, there are loads of expressions that use the verb to get. So I've chosen five for you. The first one is, do you get it? And this means, do you understand it? I often ask my students in class if they get something. I'm asking if they understand something. The next one, did you get it right? Did you answer correctly? I ask my students, how many did you get right in an exam? How many questions did you answer correctly? I need to get going. This is very common in English. I need to start to leave. You probably want to leave, but you don't want to be impolite. Then we have, we didn't get off to a good start. This means, we didn't begin well. You're getting on my nervous. This means, you're annoying me. If someone gets on your nervous, they annoy you. So I hope you got everything. If you didn't understand, watch the video again and use the subtitle. It probably helps you. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thank you so much for being lovely supporters. I'll come back soon with another video.